Y'all know better than that, okay? Headphones, please. Get your kids out of here now. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Shan. My name is Shan from the Shan B. Podden, shanbpodden.com. Check me out, check me out, check me out. And yes, this is one of six podcasts that I do, but today we're going to focus on She Gets a Pod. Why? Because I get it. And this topic, I get that too. Because some days it might be this, and some days it might be a low Caesar. You know what I'm saying? You don't know. But one thing I'm not going to do, I'm never going to wax for you. I will not pull the hairs out of my deep-rooted body, my biggest organ, for, mm, yeah, I see it, type of man. Like, most men don't appreciate the shit women go through in the first place to present themselves a certain way for them. Therefore, I will not be adding pain to the mix of the fact that I have to pay for that shit. So let's talk about it. This is episode 18. She gets a pod. What's goody? Is 70s Harry Snatch in question mark? All right. I got table topics for you. I got basically a vent for you. Something you got to learn. You got to learn a little bit about waxes and things. What women may go through. What women may pay. And you got to learn that. Sometimes it's for people and sometimes it's not. My thing is like, I'm not into telling people all that I need from a person, all that I want for my man, because everybody is not for me and everybody is not my man. And who am I to give a lame that cannot show up to the plate already ready? Tips and how to be phony to me by giving them all the game. I'm not. I will not. But I will say, I'm definitely not a fan of waxing hair off my body for no one so i'm not at peace um with going to go get a wax like most of my friends do oh i need to go see my wax lady i'm not doing none of that shit okay so i am at peace with nair i am at peace with shaving in the summer i love a no hair cat i don't have no problem shaving okay and he who does not need to be named has no problem either okay in winter i don't care so if sna- if 70s harry snatch is back ladies let's come correct the details in porn um with harry snatch are definitely missing because how were they seeing anything under that i don't know but you know somebody likes it somewhere I just don't know. But I know a lot of men be serving jungle dick and y'all need to do something about that because that shit is crazy. (laughs) Let's get into some motherfucking table topics. Let's do table topics, y'all. What are table topics? Table topics are basically a stack of cards in a nice little case that you keep on your desk or in your dining room, or in your office. And it just brings about discussions and conversation, all right? So the stack that I have is called What Would You Do Stack? You can find your own stack on tabletopics.com. If you would like to get a discount off, use my code, SHAMBYPODDEN in all caps, the big letters, all right? First question, if you were in a position to help many people, but you had to lie about something important, would you do it? You mean be a president? You mean be a politician? You mean be a CEO exec and tell their employees that your jobs are not um, in, you don't have to be in fear of losing your jobs. Everything's going to be okay. They're always fucking lying to somebody so somebody else can get over. That's just what they do. Next question. Would you eat only rice and vegetables for the rest of your life if it meant not one person would go hungry? Hell yeah. Sometimes you need to sacrifice. Um, And I'll probably be better eating rice and vegetables with all this fake food that they fill in with fake loo and laboratories feeding people. Let's be honest. One more. 
When is it okay to spy on your kids? If you want to keep them safe in 2023 and beyond, all the time. Reading text messages, seeing your browser history, checking your phone, checking your location. Um, This is the rule that I have with my kids. If you have a diary or a private journal, you can cuss in that journal. You can say what you want in in that journal. That's your private thoughts. But what you cannot do is do that in school. What you cannot do is leave that where somebody in the public will see it. What you cannot do is do that on your regular paperwork or talk to me like that. Other than that, free expression, sis. Get it up! (laughs) Let's get into this episode. I'm not a porn expert, but I've seen them. I've seen the hair. I've watched the um, 60s and 70s exploitation films um, where a lot of the beautiful women had the same amount of hair on their heads that they had on their cootie cat. I've seen it. And me personally, I don't have any problem with it. It's just that, hmm, is a person that is doing you the way that you like to be done appreciating that or would they like something different and that's who you need to focus on you don't need to focus on what the public thinks you should do with your body you don't need to focus on on what your mom and your dad thinks that you should do with your body what do you like about your body what don't you like what would you like to fix for you and if you are married and that person is doing you correctly what would they like is that something you're willing to do for them period i don't understand where all these opinions are coming from that are warranted because they're not But anyway, the points I would like to make on 70s Harry Snatch is waxing costs money, honey, and men and women get it done these days. Brazilians in some states may start at $35. Some, they go all the way up to 60, okay? And some people like to get really fancy about the scrubs they might use, the kind of wax they might use, your experience that's going to be aromatherapy. So it's just a little bit more blah, 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 blah. The benefits of waxing is that it takes longer for your hair to grow back. Uh, you have smoother skin be- because of it. You'll have fewer ingrowns, not no ingrowns, but fewer ingrowns and... It's just a faster way of getting rid of your hair, okay? Hair being ripped out is so painful to me. I am not doing it personally, but I know a lot of women that do it. And it is recommended that every six weeks you go ahead and you get that shit done. Depending on what you do for career-wise, I'm sure you would go more often. But for the regular, regular person, that's what's the recommended time. So it's going to be that on top of getting your nails done these days, which is like $130 minimum that you're probably paying these days. Um, Eyebrows, if you let other people touch your eyebrows, I do not let other people touch my eyebrows. Um, Lip waxing, I don't let people touch my lip either because I had a bad allergic reaction to getting my eyebrows waxed in New York. Oh, never again. When? never again because they had me fucked up oh they had me fucked up had my eyebrows looking like rocky road (laughs) absolutely not never again so this is what i think when it comes to hair on the body what does my man piece that i like like Okay, not the man piece that likes you. What does my man piece that I like like? What do I like? Who should have an opinion about the hair on my body? And lastly, why the fuck do I care? And those are the things that give me an idea of whether I should shave or not, whether I should, you know, let the hair grow here more or not. Okay. <sighs> But there are recommendations when it comes to this waxing shit because there are like dirty dozen, ugh, yuck. Did they really show up like that? Stories, if you scroll through TikTok and you put uh, her stories about waxing, right? They would like for you to book before your period. Duh. I'm like, why does that have to be said, right? Um, want you to avoid alcohol want you in loose clothing because when you get waxed your body duh is going to be very sensitive because you just got hella hair pulled out of certain areas 
Uh, do not shave before you get a wax because they need to pull the longest hairs. The best is what they can pull when you wax. If your hairs are too short and stubby, they're going to miss them and you're going to be back sooner and pay more money sooner. Okay? Exfoliate 24 hours before your wax is recommended. Loosen those um, hair uh, pores up so that hair could come out so they can get it. Duh. Um, shower before you go. Like, again, why the fuck does that have to be said? Because people are trifling. Gotcha. Um, and no sex after for at least 24 hours. You hoes can wait. So, ladies... If you know you're getting flu out on Friday, maybe you might want to get that wax on a Wednesday or Thursday. I'm just saying, stop last minute and sh- listen, last minuting shit. Got it, Chantal. All right, you know you just gotta get that out, get that shit out your mouth. <laughs> here, here. <laughs> Shut your ass up. All right, next. What's on your notes, girl? This is the thing. Sometimes I like hair on it. Sometimes I like to see the hair wet. Sometimes seeing a bushy island is cute to me. Sometimes when he on it, I like to look at it before I tell him, get your kids, clean it up. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I want to see it. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes feel look at that. Sometimes he don't. <laughs> oh, he always nuts, but nothing on me. Sir, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Ah, ah. <laughs> I'm just saying, let me know. I don't like surprise nuttery. Like, mm, don't get yourself knocked the hell out. I think men constantly serve jungle dick, though, and they don't care. And one time when I was watching a flick, I did see a man that waxed. And when I tell you, I did not see that bitch doing none of her tricks. I did not see that bitch riding dick. I saw that nigga's dick for like 15 minutes. And it looked amazing. It just looks a lot bigger. It's like, oh my God, I didn't know all those inches were under that fucking bush. Um, If that hair was not there, like at the end of the shaft, sir, they can, that those inches can come too. But you hiding it. Let me see 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 it. If you want me to. But if you don't want me to, and you want me to think that you serving five inches, go ahead. <laughs> Probably won't be back though, but go ahead. <laughs> I'm just saying, put the bush back a little. Trim the bush back a little. Okay? They don't want women to to not do it great but if you want women to gobble balls and shit they have hella hair make it make sense if you really pro it and you got that gop gop machine cool but it's better if she ain't gotta stop for a fur ball that's all i'm saying make it to this island okay a little bit jungle free. I like I don't like all that jungle hair. You know what I'm saying? Especially like if you want like bomb oral, sir. If you want limited mouth express, serve it. Bring your jungle ass here. Serve it. Cause that's what I'm gonna give you. But if you took the effort in and I could peep it, oh, oh, for me. Gotcha. 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 Okay. I got you. But show me that you care. Don't show me you don't care. And I say that to explain this. I do not care about what hair is there or not. I like myself. I love my hair changes. I choose to have. And I'm going to keep it low and trim. Maybe a landing strip. I like naked lips. Okay? Because I like to feel everything. Um... And the women from the 70s were amazing. And true men who understood a woman 
with a real body, they don't care. They don't care. It's the ones that don't really get pussy that got all the motherfucking opinions and, and stipulations of how it needs to be presented. And it's the men that can't even see their dick that's talking about, oh, she better suck good dick or she better be giving up good pussy. Nigga, who am I giving the pussy up to? When was the last time you saw your dick? And I'm make it make sense. It's, it's what? What? And yes, men who love other men are cleaner than you because they care about how their body is presented. They care about hygiene. It is rare these days to find a man that cares about his hygiene properly, which makes it very easy to just not. Sorry, I'm not interested. Um, Really speaking, I don't want to give you my number because I'm not going to answer. But if you would like for me to give you my number, I'll go ahead and give it to you. You just end up locked. So do you want to waste your time right now? No? Okay, cool. You have a great day. Like, I don't have to be rude about it, but I'm going to be true about it. It's pointless for me to keep giving out my number to people every time they ask because I'm not going to answer. I'm not going to call. I'm not going to hit you up out the blue. When I'm bored and I'm by myself, I usually find work to do that's going to pay me back tenfold. I'm not looking for nobody to sit and chop it up on the phone with. That's, I'm just, I've graduated from that stage in my life. You either in my life in a good way and I want you there or you're just not. You're either in my brain embedded like, damn, I didn't talk to this person today or if I didn't talk to you today or this week or this month or three months ago or six months ago, it doesn't matter. And that's the reality of it. What needs to be done will be done. What he knows how to do, he will do. What he don't know how to do, he'll probably bitch about it or say, um, ain't nobody ever had that problem with me. I, I said this and I've said this again. And I'm going to say it again. A lot of women don't tell men what they need to know about what they're serving because they don't give a fuck. And a lot of men do not tell women that what they're serving is sorry also because they don't give a fuck. But when you deal with people that give a fuck about you and the betterment of you, they're going to point out some shit that can be better. And you need to listen. Even if... If you learn to give better head, it's not going to be giving this person better head. But at least he let you know that it was okay. I don't want no man to walk away from me delivering this mouth and tell me that it was okay. Sir, when I give you this mouth, you're going to change the rest of your plans for the evening. And unless I got shit to do, I'm it's more than likely I'm going to be involved. I just know. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's a responsibility for someone giving great mouth, great medulla oblongata to say, is this person mentally sane to understand and respect my boundaries and know that they cannot be here every day, Sam, I am. You cannot see me next week. You will not see me tomorrow. Uh, we are not uh, in a relationship. You do not live here, sir. Um, we just had a great time. Some people cannot have the best because they don't know how to respect the best. So you got to know what you're serving and what you're giving. Men too, Okay. Can't be giving everybody that five five, okay? I've had great experiences and bad ones, just like everybody else. But I will say this: if a pube is in my mouth, everything stops. Everything is at a pause. And if that throws you off, I'm sorry. Get this jungle dick in order. Period. Okay? And I can't think until I get that hair out. P.S. Stop flushing your motherfucking rubbers down people's toilets. Just throw it away. You ain't rich. You ain't uh uh Bezos out here. Nobody's trying to turkey base your ass. I don't want any more kids. Put it in the trash. Because it's what? It's trash. Nobody wants it. <laughs> Damn! Thank you for listening to She Gets a Pod. Don't forget to 
Go ahead and share, subscribe, drop a review. And don't forget that we have merch. I have merch. I keep saying we like it's me and my titties, but it really is. But we are still one person as I rub them. Um, Yes, you can check out the merch at She Gets It Shop on Teespring. I appreciate you. I still have podcast books to help new podcasters, podcasters trying to focus on marketing, podcasts trying to focus on content. I got books for you. I got journals for you to write in, okay? It's not just something to read. It's something to work in so you can be better. Check it out on lulu.com or you could go to shambypodden.com and get your books. Other than that, y'all know I'm going to be back. Why? Because I'm motherfucking consistent. And at home.